DC Universe, 10 years? Indiana Jones, Far Cry, Cyberpunk, Gotham Knights. You know what? No need for an intro. Roll the thingy. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know what time it is. It is the get down with your boy, the hammer. And I've got tons of stuff to talk about today. Of course, you know, I'm in the building. My boy Snake, I'm sure he got something to say. Of course, you got to have the man Mingo D. He's loyal. I'm I'm a crappy friend because I keep, you know, being out whenever his show is on. It's just, it's just bad. It's bad. But you know, you know, you know what it is. They know my heart. It's not on purpose. You know, we all still have regular jobs and whatnot. So anyway, 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 lots of stuff to talk about. So first on the list. I, I'm your boy Snake. I just wanted to make that clear just because he wanted to just announce. I want to announce myself, sir. <laughs> since I'm in, your, I'm in here, I want to announce myself. You didn't give me the option. You know what? Like you I know. ain't here. He's going to, they don't know that we here. I said you're here. Yeah, but you I always missing the episodes. That we, how do they know you? You, you this alone. This is true. This is true. <laughs> I, it, I, I fully accept everything that I have come to me for this. So it's okay. It's totally okay. It's totally okay, Mingo. You, I mean, it, it's your show. I, I fully expect you to like. You know, you can let me have it because I just. It's okay. So it's, just it's make the next one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take like no dos and everything like i'm just be there wired up my eyes gonna be like this big i'm gonna just be there on the show excited excited all right so like i was saying we're gonna get into the show because i'll be here all day talking with this nut because he don't have this sense you don't understand anyway so dc universe something that me and snake spend many hours playing he spent even more than i have 10 years 10 year anniversary um statistically 69 million plus characters created nice uh 250 dc characters that are actual dc characters involved in this game 39 episodes and according to them growing so they're not done it's a 10 year old game they're not done i'm not mad at it look how long gta has been running too so it's a thing and to celebrate the 10 years, they're going to have free gifts that you can get all the way up to the 31st of this month. So if you have DC Universe and you had played in a while, you might dust it off. Go get the free stuff. I don't know exactly what it is. I got to go get it because I just found out about the free stuff, too. But I do plan on going on seeing what 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 they got to give me. You know what they got to give me. What are we what are we looking at? It might be something good. So go check that out. Cape, a freaking emblem that says 10. Probably. Oh, literally, that's what it was in the little in the little preview thing at the very end. You saw like the person standing there, and he has like an emblem on his chest with a ten, and it had like a like a firework behind it. And then what they had if, they were, what if like, there's more? What if there's more? We don't. Know. All we got for year one was like a cape. Well, that was year one. This is ten. So, this is like monumental, monumental. It's ooh, like a huge like thing. two capes. Because, like, you know, DC, you know, we played DC Universe. We had a lot of fun playing DC Universe whenever we played it. It was fun. At least I did. You know, I, I you know, myself and Snake and our friend Kaiser, we, we played a, we played quite a bit of it. And they played it before I did. It was on PlayStation, and I didn't have PlayStation at the time. They did. And they, they would always talk about it. So it's, it's an awesome game. Go check it out. Go get your free stuff, even if it is just a couple of capes or whatever. It's free. You didn't have to buy it. You didn't have to earn it. You just... Turn the game on and hey, 10 years, here's a go. So go get that. Now, in the staying in the realm of DC, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights had some little bit of news, you know, they were talking a little bit about it. So apparently, Gotham Knights, um, the combat system is going to be completely overhauled. It's not going to be like Arkham Knights or anything else. It's going to be different. Now they do claim that like the gameplay is the same or similar. But the combat style, like the way you fight is different. They said it's a new layout, a new format. Um, in case you didn't know, Gotham Knights is a world after Batman has fallen. You get to play Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood. 
to basically take over keeping Gotham safe because Batman is apparently no more. And it is going to be for sure two player co op, but you'll be able to switch between all four characters. So I think that's going to be pretty dope. Um, doesn't have really a release date yet, but mostly what they were talking about was the fact that the combat system is going to be different. And I know there's going to be some people that aren't going to like that because they sometimes people get a little antsy whenever something is decent or good. They're like, don't touch it. And I didn't think Arkham Knight was that bad. I didn't think the combat system was that bad in that. So we'll have to wait and see. You know, they, they claim it's, it's not out of control different, but it's, it is different. It's not the same and it's overhauled. So we shall see. But look out for that. When I get a date for release, I will definitely let you know there's not a release date yet. It's, it's still a ways out is what I'm thinking. So once we know, definitely let you know so you can go check that game out. Now, a game that I'm excited about, I know Snake is excited about, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Indiana Jones is a thing officially. Now, Bethesda is going to be the people that are producing this game. Yeah, Bethesda. I, I have high aspirations for this game now because it is Bethesda. Elder Scrolls is like dope. And, and that's just one game that they've done. I mean, when you look at Bethesda, you just tons of titles. But if the people that do Elder Scrolls are going to take over and do Indiana Jones, it's got to be freaking awesome. I like guess it has to be. And, and because it's Indiana Jones. It just, you know, it is what it is. Now, there is some speculation. There's a few things, you know, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and throw it out there and I'm going to get you guys' opinion. There is rumor that they may not use Harrison Ford's scan for Indiana Jones. I personally don't know how to feel about that because I feel like he is Indiana Jones and anybody else that they try to put to be Indiana Jones is going to be kind of weird. But there is speculation that he might not because either the last movie or a, it might be a movie in the making, he says it's the last one he's going to do. So since they're taking this story and they're making it a standalone, separate, like it's its own story, they're saying that they might not use Harrison Ford. I mean, what do you, Mingo, what do you, what do you think? I mean, you're, you're a movie buff and I know you've watched Indiana Jones. Like, you like me, yeah. you, know, you know, Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones. So you want to see that, that even if it's just a young skin, you want to see Indy. Well, yeah, because um, we haven't had a, 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 good and well i'm not gonna say good a more a more a, a more recent there we go recent indiana jones game since i think probably super nintendo or something like that so that's and so we haven't had anything because you know once you know metal gear came out everybody's been waiting for something like Indiana Jones and a lot of old titles to finally make that jump. Castlevania did it. So everybody's like, okay, Indiana Jones and a lot of properties, even movie properties that had small games like Ninja Turtles and stuff, they have been uh, have made the jump to 3D. So everybody's waiting, okay, is Indiana Jones going to do this? What about Harrison Ford? They came out with different movies over the years since the PlayStation 1 and Xbox, uh, the original Xbox all the way to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 4, they've come out with more movies of Indiana Jones and no games. You know, the best thing you got was maybe Uncharted. So, yeah, it's kind of weird to possibly not have Harrison Ford. It's like you would think that this is finally, finally get to get a true game with Harrison Ford. But here's the thing. The thing is, is that it's also by Lucasfilm. Everybody knows Lucasfilm apparently... <clears throat> works hand in hand with Disney. I think Disney owns them. Well, of course, because you got you have Star Wars and whatnot. Oh, okay. And I believe that their the idea here, at least this is the rumor, is that they're planning to, after Harrison's four last movie, possibly win on Jones, you know, they can always write him back in if he says, Hey, I want to do more, because he's just that big of a celebrity. But if this is truly his last movie, then that means they're probably gonna revamp the franchise starting over with Harris, not Harris Ford, but Indiana Jones being younger and just saying this is one of the the Avengers that we didn't see or just redo the whole franchise all together with maybe Harrison Ford as a producer or whatever and they bring in a new guy and then that's probably how the games go and 
there, no one really knows. This is just speculation because Lucasfilm and Bethesda is keeping it very close to their to the vest and saying, hmm, you have to wait and see. It's pretty much how they do. They tease it, and then, you know, of course, we're going to get more leaks sooner or later from both sides. But I don't know. I would prefer that since this is the first game to go ahead and make it in tandem with the movie and say, you know, even if this isn't a game just like the movie that's coming out, just give us Harrison Ford one last time and then all these other – then just – then this this can be – not necessarily their test run for Bethesda, but then they can have, they can say, oh, this was just one separate game. Now we're going to make a franchise of Indiana Jones movies that have nothing to do with Harrison Ford. Therefore, you can have the best of all worlds. I mean, why not? You are, y'all got all the money. Go ahead. I don't know. But that's, I would like both. Give me a Harrison Ford game, 3D, you know, super graphics, and then give me a whole brand new thing if y'all wanted that too. I mean, but give me both. I, that's me. I don't know. I agree. Snake, your opinion? Well, uh, first off, uh, I wanted to go back to DC Universe real quick. I found <laughs> out the, because I logged in just now, and I found out what we had. Uh, so basically, you get two trinkets, two emblems, and an aura. That's it. So the, the two trinkets for your you know, whatever your level pretty much are useless, really. Um, like there's a 10th anniversary fireworks trinket. Useless. Like, it's does nothing for me. Uh, Paradox uh, ga- geyser, geyser, whatever, trinket. Does nothing for me. Can't use it. Uh, the 10th anniversary fireworks aura. So I guess you're just going to be walking around fireworks like Jubilee walking around anywhere. Um, just looking like, I don't know. Uh, and then you spoke a Marvel yeah. character in the DC universe. That's blasphemy. But hey, they're the ones that put fireworks. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it was kind of bad. Tenth <clears throat> anniversary emblem, just like that's the emblem I told you about. And then there's a enhanced tenth anniversary. So it's just an enhancement to the first. One. So that's it. Anyway, so that's what you get for logging in. If Shut you like, want it and you like it, go get it. Shut up like crap on their tenth anniversary gifts. It's just it's so. Oh, I mean, no, I asked for it, so it's okay. I've been hey, I've been with them since day one. I had the disc from when before, back before they even made it free, so I can say what I want. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> great. Uh, to. Indiana Jones, I'm excited. I can't, like, especially Bethesda's doing it. Like, I know they're going to be great. Um, I mean, they, depending on if it's a multiplayer or if it's just a single player game, like, their single players, like ESO, Elder Scrolls, freaking phenomenal. So just imagine all the, like, cave, like, everything you do in Skyrim. Just imagine that being like Indiana Jones. Like you see how like intricate their their uh that they make their puzzles and stuff that they do when you go into different uh caves and stuff and tombs. You gotta do this, this, and this. Just imagine like Indiana Jones doing some stuff like this. So I can see it, and that's gonna be awesome, especially on the new gen with the new graphics. Oh my god. <laughs> I agree. That was my thought. That was my thought with the, the next well the current that's now current gen, but with the new consoles and new all the graphics and processors, it's gonna be freaking <laughs> ridiculous. Um I and and real quick before we jump to the, the next deal, um speculation on, on location of said story. Um if you look closely in the little sizzle trailer, and uh, we might be able to have that. It's a little sizzle trailer is it's going over. It shows some of his equipment, his camera, and his notebook. So pictures, if you notice, there's a picture of the Vatican and uh, some pictures of the Sistine Chapel and something, there's a document that says like 1937 on it somewhere. So my guess is we're going to Vatican City and there's going to be some things that he's investigating. So I'm excited. Mike Snake, I'm excited to see what they're going to do, what the story is going to be. It's supposed to be original, so we'll, we'll see what we get. When we get there, again, there's no release date yet. It's very, very early. 
Um, that sizzle trailer was like 30 seconds. So, I mean, they, they don't even have real gameplay. It was just something to let you know, hey, Indiana Jones is a thing. So, just give me a priest that'd be like, Indiana, come back. And he just, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, you know, like right. we'll have like a whole bunch of priests for some reason. They all got swords. I don't know. And then they all <laughs> coming at him. And, you know, he always punches. So he just punch down, punch down. I, I don't know. I, I want that. I don't know. It's weird. I want it. I want it. I want it. It's going to be exciting. Either way, it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm excited already. It's going to be an awesome game. Um, real quick, uh, Far Cry 6 possible release date, April 30th, 2021. That is that is a leaked estimate but they did say they did confirm that it would be april or may and the 31st or would well the 30th not 31st the 30th um, would make sense it's a friday tuesdays and fridays for video games that kind of has fallen into the right realm so it's a guess but possible release date april 30th for far cry 6 keep you posted on that i did want to share that and last but not least cyberpunk we already know they're in a lot of trouble um, now they're being investigated. Uh, Consumer, Pe- Consumer Protection Agency is investigating the makers of Cyberpunk. Yeah. So basically, they're investigating them and seeing what happened on launch. They're trying to get a real answer as to what happened on, at launch. And they're digging into how they're handling refund policies and updates and everything else. Um, this is a full blown audit. Um, they are like digging into them real bad. I feel kind of bad because I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's at a developer level level at fault. I think this is a higher up thing. I think they should be the ones that get punished. But like the saying is, crap rolls down here. And I feel like if this gets bad, it's gonna get down to the developers and they're gonna blame them for something that probably wasn't their fault. I believe if they thought the game wasn't ready, they probably were asking for more time and you have some suit that's telling you, now nah, we got to release it. And it's like, you're releasing an incomplete game, we'll do updates, but don't know how it's going to work. And we saw what happened with the release of Cyberpunk. So they are um, getting investigated and if they find them, if, if it's bad enough, they can actually find them 10% of all their profits from 2020 from the release on yeah so they may be coming out of pocket some hefty amounts of money because there were lots of pre-orders and lots of purchases of this game and they might have to pay back 10 percent of that to the consumer protection agency on top of the refunds that they've already been trying to figure out and give it's just it's it's not a good situation it's not looking good for them I, i'm wishing them the best i hope everything does work out but it's not it's not looking good i hate to have negative news but it is important and you do need to know so if you bought cyberpunk you know kind of be on the lookout because if they're gonna you know if they end up charging them the 10 percent, that's supposed to go back to the consumers because that's what the consumer protection agency is for so you may get one of those weird like hey there was a lawsuit and you're entitled to x amount of dollars i'm sure it wouldn't be that much i mean you pay sixty dollars for a game. I mean, you you gonna get what like six dollars, maybe? One of those, one of those commercials that play, like if you or your loved one experienced, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> cyberpunks, <laughs> glitchy <Right>. frames, <laughs> you, you get, may be entitled. <laughs> get or you get like a JG Wentworth commercial. <laughs> you start hollering about it. Is my money? And I need it now. I need my six dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no, but um, but it it's not look good for him. And I, I like I said, I feel bad. Visually, the game to me, every time I, everything I've seen in the game is beautiful. But there are glitchy things. I saw like people glitched into the ground, and there's there's just things. And and the big deal is it was unplayable on certain consoles at times. Mm-hmm. So that that's really what's getting like people bought the game and then it just absolutely it did not work period on the on the console it's like oh crap you know you can have glitchy game put out a patch fix it okay but when the game just doesn't work like literally doesn't work we say broken game all the time no it broken literally game, broken game, like, broken game. yeah but this one was literally like 
it, it don't operate. <laughs> it broke. Literally broke. Yeah, and when it's like that, you're gonna. You, you, this is what happens, and I, I like I said, I hope it's not. I hope it's not a. I hope it doesn't cost them a whole lot of money. I hope they get it fixed and we can enjoy Cyberpunk because I'm still. I can't I'm wait to freaking play it. I'm either gonna get it on a pass or I'm gonna end up purchasing it. It just looked too good, man. I'm sorry. Even with the best, problem, it looks too good. Worst, best case scenario, <laughs> it's not really a best case scenario because it's all negative, but you get a bungee situation happening. So This is true. This is Because, I mean, if, they, if, if it really isn't the developer's fault, which I don't think it, it is, and since they did such a good job with The Witcher, I could just see them saying, you know what? We're out. And then they they it's like the half of it is cut. So if it happens, you heard it here. And then they just decide, you know, half of the team and they're gonna move and make their own team. And then all of a sudden their games just start being amazing and everybody's like, Oh, so it was y'all fault, but not their fault. Cause you we heard, see their game is amazing. Y'all game ain't you you heard that here, what he just said, and I agree with it. And I'm gonna just say this. Since a certain company is on a roll right now, just basically buying up everybody, <laughs> Microsoft, uh, they seem like they have black check to just buy studios left and right. I'm just saying, if they do split, it would not surprise me if, like, a couple of months later, you get a message like, hey, new studio owned by Microsoft. <laughs> they were developed, they were part of development of Cyberpunk. Like, oh, well, there's that. Well, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, Bethesda took the you know made the leap, and I think that was smart for them anyway. And you know, there's been several other people that that are, that are being acquired, at least for a temp- even if it's temporarily, it's still kind of a smart move. So, who who? Oh, that was EA. I was gonna say who made um um what's that game that everybody was really excited about? I can't remember the name that Anthem. failed so bad. Anthem. Anthem. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say. I, I, I just really, I, I really wanted that game so, to be so amazing. It looked so good. Me and Snake talked about that game all the time. We're like, bro, <laughs> Anthem, Anthem, Anthem. And then it came out, and it was like, what? What happened? See, I hope, I hope if it, whether it's EA or whoever, I hope somebody looks at that idea. Because don't you hate, I hate it when there's games that have, like, good ideas, like, that fly in and all that stuff and everything that happened. That was amazing. And then the game failed, but that don't mean that you don't throw, do not throw away that idea. Take yeah. that idea, put it on something else, because that was amazing. I want that in another game that Put works. that game, put that game on this generation of consoles and shut up and take my money, period. Because it was visually pretty even on yeah. past gen. Like, it was, that's what caught my eye when I watched the trailer for it, to watch that first little bit of gameplay. Like it was, it was extremely smooth and it looked great. And I can just imagine now on with this much power running that game, that'd be it's ridiculous. I, you know I hope somebody <laughs> makes an attempt at it again. They should, they should take one more crack at it. I, I agree. Yeah, man. You know what? When I saw the flying, it made me excited for a Superman game because you know you never get, never get to see flying correct. But that was like, yo, they flying. And it yeah. looks good. Yeah. I want to see a super. It made me excited for a Superman game in the future because you know, last Superman game, <laughs> y'all remember that too. It was flying all stupid. I'm like, I'm they, play this. They, they have tried Superman a couple of times. I'm glad they quit trying because, like, no, every time it's like, no, this is not flying it. mechanics are hard. Apparently, we're, we're hard on video games, so I don't know. I'm not. I don't make games yet, so yeah, it, yeah. it was. It was just bad, but. That is what I have for this week on the get down. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and share. Talk to us. We definitely want to have you on the show. I actually do have a couple of guys lined up to be on the show. I'm not going to say who they are. They're personal friends of mine, but I know they like to play a lot of games. And uh, we talk all the time on Facebook and they watched the show and they liked it and they were like, man, you know, y'all should talk about this. I was like, hey, y'all should come on the show and talk about that. And so we, we, we're talking. We're going to try to arrange something. So look out for that. Stay tuned in. I don't have no glasses. Hey, you know, I don't have mine on right now. I got contact <laughs> on, but it's all good. But stay tuned in. Thanks again for being here. We'll I do have one 
last thing to ask you. Yes. So, how was I going to ask you? So, how, what, why is little Johnny's sister called, nicknamed Potato Chip? Listen, I'm, hey, going to so, so I'm going to regret stupid. this. That's so stupid. I don't even know. I'm going to regret why, this. Why is little Johnny's sister nicknamed Potato Chip? I'm going to regret this. Why is little Johnny's sister called Potato Chip? Because she's free too late. <laughs> Thanks for being <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. I we will see y'all next week on the get down. I am done with this man. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I am no. done. I will <laughs> not. I, I'm not going to do it. I appreciate y'all. See you next time. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me.